Only on 7 News, we're learning just how serious the threats against paramedics were, prompting a lockdown at Denver Health Medical Center last month. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez always investigating. Lance, police believe the suspect even staked out one of the paramedics home with a rifle? And Mike, that rifle had a scope on it. Now, I obtained this search warrant affidavit today. It outlines threats Matthew Mann is accused of making against his former supervisors here at the paramedics division at Denver Health Medical Center. He is quoted as saying he was going sniper on anyone who's wearing bars. Matthew Mann worked as a paramedic at Denver Health from 2004 to 2012. In documents obtained by 7 News, he told police his superiors blamed him for an ambulance crash, that he was careless and reckless. On April 11th, co-workers noticed some threats on Facebook. One texted him. He replied, I'm ready to kill almost everyone with bars and I'm trying to find a reason not to do it. Mann said he'd kill the command staff, then disappear into the mountains. I'll kill their children if I have the opportunity, just to remove their DNA from the gene pool. The affidavit shows once he was arrested, Mann told police he had a psychotic break and was venting his anger on the message board. When an investigator asked if he still wished to shoot these people, he replied, honestly, F word, yeah, they are a tumor and they need to be excised. According to the affidavit, Mann said he knew where his supervisors lived and even hung out in a field adjacent to one of their homes. I've spent nights and days outside their homes with them in the crosshairs just waiting, he said. Mann said he studied each residence to determine in what order he should kill them to ensure his escape. Now, Mann is charged with four counts of stalking and making threats with repeated communication. He is free on bond right now. We tried making communication with him a little bit earlier today to get his response to the affidavit, but we're told he is not commenting. Live in Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.